planted all of these moringa from stick one year ago and now we have a really nice uh, berm with about a couple hundred trees. Greetings and welcome to the Moringa Growers Co-op. Wow, what a morning. Here it is about four o'clock in the afternoon. It's a beautiful afternoon. Some clouds are starting to roll in. August 29th, one of my favorite days of the year. And today we just made a harvest, actually in Plant City. And it was wonderful. I'm a little bit overheated. I've been drink drinking water. I had a hat on when I was out there and it, the heat is no joke. So uh, we're gonna bring it in after this and I just wanted to really quick actually show you that um, this was the other day's harvest and these pods are almost dry. Oh yeah, look how many seeds we've already gotten from the last harvest. Greetings. We're peeping around the corner. I just want you to see how exciting this is when you peep around the corner and you see Miss Moringa. Wow. She's massive. Holy crap. Look at the thousands and thousands of seed pods. Wow, wonderful. So these seeds are nice and mature. You can see they're coming out of here dark. Wonderful, wonderful seeds. Uh, Moringa trees produce thousands and thousands of seed pods in one year. One tree can produce thousands of seed pods. Uh, Indians, they call them drumsticks. You don't want to lose any of them. And these drumsticks are cherished, actually, in the Indian community. The reason why the Moringa oleifera actually produces high amounts of drumsticks is because it was cultivated for thousands of years in India. And that's where the Moringa oleifera originates from. The reason why we're here today, not only to celebrate this wonderful harvest that we received in Plant City, uh, uh, they've been a co-op member now for almost three years and their trees are great. There was a freeze about a year and a half ago and uh, we had to cut the trees all the way back down to the ground. Since then, they've been structuring back out since that cut and they now have multiple tops and tips. And Greetings, welcome. We're live, live in Plant City. Live in Plant City, we're at MGC location. Uh, we've been caring for these trees for three years now. They're about five, six years old. Uh, before we jump into uh, Trail Bell Farm one year later, here at the Moringa Growers Co-op YouTube channel, I wanted to um, make sure everybody knew that they can download the Moringa Growers Co-op Moringa Tree Professional Training Course Manual for free if you visit moringagrowerscoop.org. This manual, also there are seven videos where I read the manual and inside the manual essentially it teaches you how to become a Moringa tree professional. Each chapter inside has, uh, this first chapter actually that you can download at the website has several sections inside the first chapter. And we're going to be teaching this uh, manual actually at local uh, community colleges, technical colleges, where you could actually become a certified Moringa tree professional. Inside this manual where you can download for free if you visit our website, talks about the Moringa tree professional, of course this training course manual, there's going to be an exam so that way you get certified, and then it talks about the cooperative business model. What does it mean to actually be a cooperative? Uh, about other organizations and cooperatives, uh, more information about membership and how you can join the co-op, uh, history of the Moringa tree is here in chapter one and you can download this. It also has growing and selling Moringa tree products that you make, a list of products and also that's benefits and also in this manual talks about salesmanship, 
customer satisfaction. See, we the reason why we're harvesting these trees is because we're bringing them to the farmer's market. We're going to dry them, make teas and powders and all kinds of oil from the seed pods. Um, and in the manual, it also has uh, laws, regulations, and best management practices. So if you haven't yet, please download this uh, manual for free. And if you haven't yet, visit the moringagrowerscoop.org website and pick up your subscription for the Moringa Tree Starter Kit. We have three months available, we have six months available, and we also have 12 boxes available for one year. Now, if you decide to get something like, say, the 12 month subscription, you would get 12 boxes, one at the beginning of each month, and it's only gonna cost you $30 a box. Uh, sign up today, go to moringagrowerscoop.org slash subscriptions. In there, you'll be able to subscribe to a one-year program where you'll get 12 boxes. Normally, this is a $60 value. We mark it down to 49, and now if you order 12, you just have to sign up to the subscription. All you have to do is pay $30 today for your first box. And um, we really appreciate that. It helps us grow the Moringa Growers Co-op. There's $60 worth of products inside. I mean, we've already wrapped this one up. This one's going out to one of my really good friends in Delaware. And she's been waiting on this box very, very patiently. And it has Moringa oil in it. Oh man, so many things. These are already wrapped up. It's got powder. Take a look, visit our website, moringagrowerscoop.org. Not to mention, it's a book in a box. So we really appreciate you enjoy and watch the video where we share with you uh, our growth and journey with Trail Bale Farm one year later. Greetings, welcome. You can see here Trail Bale Farm. We're so happy to show you this progression as we planted Moringa trees at Trail Bale Farm. On the left, we started on a pre-existing berm. They had leveled the property several years prior and just kind of pushed material to create a berm and we just re-mulched the, the pre-existing berm. It was a slight berm but it was already raised up a little bit and it gets pretty wet out at Trail Bale and given that Moringa loves high and dry we decided to just re-mulch the berm from the free mulch and from neighboring harvests we planted sticks and cuttings from other Moringa trees on the property to just start establishing the mycelium content in the soil below. These roots would start to form and it would help us to grow more Moringa trees on the berm. And then you can see on the far right, we relocated some of the sticks, we added more sticks, we created a pathway through the middle, and now just one year later, we have a, a Moringa food forest. Trail Bell Farm is located just northeast of downtown Tampa. I went to the University of South Florida, not too far from Trail Bell Farm, just to give you an idea. It's also not very far away from Bush Gardens. It's a really beautiful place. Temple Terrace is actually the city that Trail Bell Farm is really close to. Uh, Temple Terrace used to actually be a citrus grove. The entire town was a citrus grove. Hundreds and hundreds of square acres of just citrus back in the early 1900s. And that's what established Temple Terrace. And, and now today there's several farms around the area now growing uh, sheep and cattle and goats. And that's what Trail Bell does. They also do chickens and pigs and they have really good prices and uh, pasture raised all natural and organic options available for some of their specialty meats and cuts please visit trail bell farm for any of your local products this is a map of tampa bay actually you can see what's so crazy about it is this yin and yang happening where the white is the water and the black is the land and they look exactly the same inverse. It's so wild to see it like that. And uh, we've been pretty busy over the past few years. We've been planting Moringa trees on other people's properties now for about five years. 
and now we've amassed over 300 locations in the Tampa Bay area with thousands and thousands of moringa trees. I mean, each location, each dot that you see there has more than one tree. So, you know, Trail Bell is just one dot and it already has hundreds of trees on it. So you can see we're amassing a, a local community of moringa growers. Trail Bell Farm is about five acres and it's really close to I-75 in Tampa, which is one of the major highways that runs north and south throughout the state, actually. You come in trail to Trail Bale on the left. There's a driveway, the trail, the long trail. And Travis's son, Hank, actually named the farm Trail Bale. Thanks, Hank. Love the name. And as you come down the trail, you'll see paddocks six and five. And then it opens up to the left where number two is. If you come down a little bit further the driveway, you'll see the farm store. They have farm store hours. Visit the website and also they sell their products at local farmer's markets. But they have hours to where you can actually come on the farm and pick up some of their meats. Several paddocks on the farm. They have a trailer uh, out in the field there where they actually grow their chickens uh, from chickies, babies, and eggs there inside the little trailer and then once they hatch in the in the brewer i think that's what it's called then they bring them out into the into the paddocks there into the fields where they let them uh, graze and roam around in their uh, traveling chicken houses and there's a as i mentioned they flatten the land and they built up this berm to kind of like separate the paddocks uh, a couple years ago when they bought the property and so we're utilizing that berm space to also further separate the paddocks uh, with uh, some shaded areas for the animals to get some shade in the summer under the moringa trees. And so we're creating this moringa fedge, this fedge row. It's a food hedge, also known as a fedge. And we're, that's where we're going to be growing several hundred moringa trees. Getting a little organic mulch delivery today. Free mulch. The first day we showed up on the farm, we actually got a load of mulch. We got a call. This is what this is what started it all. Actually, uh, about a year before this, so two years ago, Travis had mentioned we, he would like moringa trees on the farm, and I, I had already been planting moringa trees on other people's properties, and had a had an extensive list of locations that I was harvesting and planting and waited for the right time. Essentially, I got a call because uh, Numa Nursery, my, my other business, is, is on Google. And with the nursery name, Numa Nursery, we get calls all the time for plants, but also people saying, hey, if you have a property and you like mulch, we can come and drop off some mulch. So I got a call from a guy. He said, hey, we've got some mulch. If you'd like, we could drop it off somewhere. And right away, I said, yes, drop it at Trail Bale. And that's what started it and, and inspired us to, to get it going. So that was the first day, May 31st, 2018. And it's free mulch. You can see just behind the mulch, there's, a, there's the berm where the weeds are growing. Those are just weeds right there um, behind the grass there. The tall grasses, you'll see the, uh, the berm kind of just behind there. And that's where we're going to start plant, planting the moringa trees. Once it got dropped off, took a look at it, it was a little sandy, it was already broken down a little bit, but that was good. Uh, that means that the mulch w would not have robbed the small little cuttings of nitrogen as much as a fresh batch of mulch. So this was good for the first start. I made some harvests from a local tree and cleaned them up, got the sticks cut, started spreading the mulch on the pre-existing berm, and then using that tool there on the right, started sticking the sticks in the ground. Hey everyone, Moringa Poppy here. We're out here in Venona, Sassa, Florida. We're planting Moringa trees today. Check out this stump. This is actually from a larger tree. We had to cut it off because it had some frost damage. When we stuck it in the ground, it ended up sprouting just a week after being in the ground. And now we're going to have a huge tree coming from this moringa stone. What we're doing essentially on this berm is we're 
planting moringa stems, just like that. And now you can see we have thousands. What we've done is essentially we've just mulched on top of this burn, this hill, and we've planted thousands of moringa trees along this burn. Moringas can be propagated from cuttings. We've been growing moringa now for four years in Tampa and managed thousands of moringa trees with the Moringa Growers Co-op. You can find us on Facebook, the Moringa Growers Co-op Facebook group, or also on Instagram at Numa underscore nursery. But before you go, I wanted you to see that we're actually now growing moringa trees from these sticks. Moringa love, baby. Abundance. Those cuttings are going to regrow new roots. Later that day, we ended up getting a, a full line done with a couple hundred sticks in the ground. We're just trying to establish the soil. We're trying to get the soil started. We want mycelium in there so that way when we plant more trees, they're ready to go. They have the ability to uh, uptake nutrients. The mycelium helps uh, cling on to the root system so that way the root system can also absorb the enzymes and the proteins in the soil. After just uh, two to three weeks, not even a month later, we've already come back to see that some of those sticks have sprouted, which is a good sign. It shows that the soil is good and we were ready to start letting these trees grow. And we relocated some of these cuttings so that way we can make a pathway on the berm as we continue to mulch the berm all the way down the line. The power of Moringa, you can just see, they just want to grow. They store so much energy and water in their sticks that um, they just regrow so fast. One of the fastest growing trees in the world. You can see how the root system begins to form. Just two months after sticking the Moringa trees in the ground, they already have little tendrils and shooting up some greens. This is all new growth just within two months of planting them in the ground. Of course, it's summertime in Florida, Tampa. It rains almost every day, so they get lots of minerals from the rain to help them regrow. And we got a call actually from a lady in South Tampa, business owner. Her and her husband have a franchise that they just purchased this building behind this large moringa tree on the left which was actually a an Asian market and restaurant until the new owners purchased the building and saw that this moringa tree was there but it was just too close to the building they wanted to do some things there and and so we helped them by cutting the tree back. As much as we may not have wanted to cut the tree as that, that far back and remove it, uh, we did so with love and care and knowing that these, this tree was gonna be used at Trail Bale. So we gathered the stumps and the sticks and we brought them over to the farm and we're gonna recycle these cuttings because they're so full of nutrients that we know that they would break down over time, creating fertile soil on the trail. We got another load of mulch, mulch pile two. Just a couple months later, we had already finished that first pile, spread the thing entirely out. And now we're coming down, making this trail and using sticks from other harvests to build the soil up. Continuing to use other people's harvested material, not letting anything go to waste seed pods, branches, cuttings, and we're just making new soil from Moringa. Moringa is a, a great fertilizer and mulch, living mulch. So amazed at the power of just a cutting, you know, just a few inches long. And, and within two months, I mean, they're forming these root systems. And it's just so beautiful to watch. It's crazy. It's almost alien 
watching these things form from the bark, actually. Root, Moringa roots form from the bark. That outer edge of the bark there is clean cut. And then the fibers of the, of the bark stretch and turn into a root system. And so we built up another berm on the other side of the first berm and just dropping mulch and building it up so that way they stay high and dry and started planting out more trees. We're kind of getting a little pattern going now where we have a walkway in the middle versus having all the sticks in the middle and everything. So wasn't sure if we were just going to have trees on the berm in the middle and then we just harvest from the sides. But I really liked widening it out a little bit with Travis's permission to be able to walk on it and then have the trees on either side. That way we could have a little bit more trees, but also we could have uh, a better time harvesting up on the berm. And a horseradish tuber forms from a cutting just two months later after sticking a little stick in the ground. It now has two feet of fresh green growth that's turning into a little baby tree. All new growth you can see on the left. And then a close up. And just really impressed with the power of Moringa and how it just... It grows so well. This is in last August. And so we're about two months in. And this can happen within just two short months from a cutting. And we get calls all the time from Moringa growers all over the state and in Tampa. And we met this gentleman at the farmer's market. And he lives in Brandon. And said, hey, I have three Moringa trees you can come by and harvest them. They're really tall and big. We've never even cut them. I mean, this is just after the freeze that we had five months earlier. So everything that you see there is only five months old. He said that they froze back almost to the ground. And that's what they grew within five months. <laughs> like 20 foot tall. And so we cut them back, use, organized, used the greens and then organize the sticks. That way we could bring them back to trail bale. So we're not letting anything from the neighboring moringa trees go to waste. And we took those sticks after we stripped them off the greens, stripped off the greens, and then we replanted them on the berm at trail bale. And this was experimenting with taller sticks to see if it has more ability to store energy and also create root systems a little bit faster, being a little bit more mature. Because the two months was great, but we'd like to see if we could get some tubers within 60 days, 30 days. You know, 30 days would be great. We want to be able to offer root tubers at the farmer's market as well. They're great horseradish flavor, chopped up and soups and cooked. Welcome to Traildale. FGC. Mango sticks. Growing and cutting. Double rows. Let's see, they're already starting to come back. We just stuck these sticks in the ground. Some are coming up from the ground. Hey, turkeys. Gobble, gobble. Here we are on the other side building of a berm. This one we're building up still, dropping sticks from harvests as we build this up. And we're gonna go all the way to the trail. And we are farmers making soil. It's really great just to see the progress after just one year where it was just nothing. And we're building this up slowly, making soil making a food forest. And we're taking those sticks and we're covering them with mulch. That way they fertilize and, and make good soil. And just kind of raise the berm up a little bit higher. And we made our first harvest. Just three months. We've got trees over six feet tall. And we made our first cuts about three feet high. And they already split and they're producing even more greens at this point. I mean, there was a stick sticking out of the ground in the middle of the trail on the berm that I had buried and pulled it out to find these sprouts coming off of it and was just like in shock like 
oh my gosh. So I ate one of them. Oh, they were so, it's so good. I mean, that would be, that would be an ideal little garnish on a salad. Just crunchy, little moringa sprout from a cutting. I mean, that would be so cool to have as a product for people at the market. Moringa sprouts with like the crunchiness of it because they were underground and they were just all white because they were ground. I mean, you can see some of them were starting to um, get tips and, and green tips. But I mean, it was real good. Just a taste, it was amazing, really refreshing. Good day, good day. We're at Trail Bay Farm. We're just a couple months ago on June 1st, we started building up this burn. And then we started sticking Moringa in the ground. Cuttings, sticks. Now it's October 25th. So we have about four or five months of growth. And we have two full rows of trees that are at least five, six feet. All the way down, we created this berm. Enjoy. See you soon. Here we are today at Trail Bale Farm in Temple Terrace, Florida. It's March 7th. 2019. About nine months ago, over the summer, in June, we started planting this berm out with Moringa cuttings from other properties. We would harvest Moringa trees and then bring them over here. And so now, at Trail Bale Farm, we actually have a trail of Moringa trees, some of which are taller than me six feet, seven feet tall. We interplanted some neem trees. I mean, this is amazing. All of these came up over winter time. All the sticks, they rooted. Got mulberry. I mean, this looks amazing. We just stuck these sticks in the ground from the Moringa trees along this berm here we're a little bit raised up on the ground mulch oak mulch but we are close to a forest edge which really helps with mycelium i mean look at this this is unbelievable i'm so amazed proof of the strength of Moringa. We've had a pretty mild winter in Tampa. All of these greens are gonna be harvested today. We're gonna to cut the trees back low, helps reestablish the root system. And then these trees are gonna be taller than me once again in just another month or two months. Once the summer comes, these trees are gonna be 20 feet tall. Excited. All organic, visit newmanursery.com, Tampa Bay Moringa, hashtag Tampa Bay Moringa. Prosperous growing. Peace and love. Nine months after planting the berm, and it looks beautiful. We have a nice little trail. This is springtime, is in the air. Couldn't believe how beautiful it was and how it transitioned from just nothing into this within just a few short months. I didn't make it a straight line, I liked a little bit of a curve, and it actually creates this, this effect where it just looks even more full perspective and then on the right the second harvest where you can see the first cut then it split and then the second cut and then we're hoping that it split do a little after shot just came through and harvested some of these greens what we did was just bring all of the trees back to about three feet in height. That way, eventually one day, we could step into the tree. We want them to split low, so that way they form out, really fill this space. I kept a couple of forks, keeping them as forks. 
That way they just really kind of spread out nine months. We harvested these trees, moringa trees. I planted this as a stick two years ago and it regrew this entire root system. We had to cut the trees from the top that were growing. And actually we have them here. And what we're gonna do is we got these trees down to the forks and then we're gonna stick this in the ground. So that way it becomes a whole whole tree. Got a moringa tap root. We're gonna stick this entire tree back in the ground. We had to pull this out of a location. But we're gonna get this whole tree back into the ground. Hey, we're at Trail Bale. This is one that we cut back last year. She's coming back. And today, we just planted these sticks. Some of these had roots on them. But we're just getting these short forks in the ground. Look at that baby. Laid her down. We're just getting these short forks in the ground. That way they start splitting low, making bushy trees. One year later, we visit 14 months after starting the plant. And look at Robert. He's got his weed eater. And he's about six foot tall. And these trees are amazing. We hadn't harvested the trees since March and we let them go all summer and just do their thing. Greetings, welcome. We're here at Trail Bale Farm. One year later. And uh, we planted this berm uh, 14 months ago actually. Lots of butterflies on the chaya. But uh, we planted all of these moringa from stick one year ago. And now we have a really nice uh, berm with about a couple hundred trees. And uh, you can see where I cut all of these little babies really low, you know, a few months ago. And over the past six months, they've split and they're growing tall now. Just cutting them all real low. Getting them all to split. That way they all have multiple tops. So like we planted, you know, this is the original stick here. And we cut it. And then it regrew and split and split. And today we'll probably get all of these cut back at a really nice height. This is unbelievable. They're all 10 feet tall now. I mean, we're in Temple Terrace, Florida. You can see where we cut and it's split. You can see where we cut and it splits. Old cut, split. These are all from cuttings. I mean, they didn't have any root system or anything one year ago. We just put them in the ground on this berm. And we've just kind of let the site go. I mean, we just came back here to get the grass that was growing up in here. And We'll get these cut back so that way they have the rest of the summer to start regrowing and then they'll provide us with some extra greens for tea and powder. Just a really beautiful site. Just one year after planting. And this is one of our MGC locations in Temple Terrace. 
can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Six, seven, eight foot tall trees. Just forest. Unbelievable. So excited to share with everybody the benefits of Moringa, teaching everyone how to grow Moringa trees, how to use it in their everyday meals. And as we come to the other side of the berm, of course we had to plant uh, some chaya, you know, just to be our bringing in the extra pollinators. But uh, on the other side of the berm, we built up another berm, and we're still making soil on this side, and we're gonna drop some of our most recent harvests as we continue to go down. Now we've already kind of stuck in some trees over the last few months uh, over the summer so that way they could start taking. Uh, some of them are struggling. They're getting maybe a little bit of... Uh, oh, this one's beautiful. I know exactly which one this came from. This, this one here came from a tree that we needed to remove in St. Pete and we just put the whole thing in. Uh, this one over here, oh my gosh, this was just a huge root tuber and she's made several, several tips and what we'll do is we'll trim some of these tips back and just keep the real strong ones and try to formulate a nice rotunda. And as they grow up, we just structurize these trees Lots of weeds that we just cut back. So some of these didn't make it. It's okay. Some of them are still sprouting, little babies. But uh, we're going to keep going all the way down to the to the trailer, and we just had the beekeeper uh, from the property come over and ask if we were going to keep bringing the moringas all the way up to the hive so that way the bees had a little bit of uh, protection, more protection in the summertime and we said we'd love to. So We're just going to keep planting moringa trees here at Trail Bell Farm. It's only been one year since the start of our relationship. I've known Travis, the, um, Travis Malloy, the owner of Trail Bell Farm for a few years. I've been vending at the Temple Terrace Farmers Market selling our Moringa products. And he, uh, he asked us one day, he's like, hey, would you like to plant some Moringa trees on our, on our property? And I said, sure, would love to. And so we got some mulch delivered and started working an area of the property that wouldn't be detrimental to his pasture. He's got chickens and sheep and turkeys. And we're just amazed at what can happen in one year just by putting sticks in the ground. Thanks for everybody that's ever come out to the farm and helped us volunteer. We're going to have some more volunteer days here pretty soon to just help help us manage and even uh, plant some more trees. Thanks for joining us. We'll, we'll keep you updated on Trail Bell Farm's progress with a YouTube video uh, one year later. Thanks so much. Really appreciate you for coming out, visiting. Much love. Prosperous growing. Peace. Just a quick one, run through. It's starting to rain here at Trail Bale. This is uh, right after uh, harvesting. Uh, one year later, uh, we're just making our cuts, keeping the forks, keeping all the forks. And that way, they flush out even more. Uh, in a couple months, we'll have 10 times as many greens as we just had today uh, by the end of summer. So we kept all the forks. That way they just flush out all new growth. Uh, Trail Bale Farm is, is live with hundreds of Moringa trees. Much love. Chaya. Greetings. Greetings, we're live and we're back at Trail Bell Farm. One year later. 
unbelievable. This mound we built up a year ago is staying high and dry. And these little baby moringa trees along with the chaya here, pollinator plant, is doing really beautiful at the gateway to our trail, moringa trail at Trail Bale. Now we planted, we started uh, building this mound up uh, actually in June of 2018 and we built it up with mulch and then by September of 2018 we actually made our first harvest from this location and so we're one year after the first harvest. And we actually came to this location one month ago and made a harvest and I wanted to show you what it looks like now just one month after cutting the trees back. Now these trees were 20 feet tall one month ago and we left one of the trees tall just so you could see just how tall all the all of these trees were but what we're doing is we're managing this location to split these trees low from the base so what we'll do hey there buddy what's up Salvador we'll cut it and then they split and so we're trying to cut these trees lower so that way they all have a little bit more of a lower rotunda so like this one is only maybe two feet off the ground and you can see in here it's already starting to split multiple multiple stems and that's only because we cut it we cut it back let's see if I can see if we can see the cut there it is and it's because we cut it back there that the, all of these greens continue to regrow and split. Let's, let's show you how tall all of these trees were. <laughs> so you see that baby up there? You can see she's, she's right here. And she's pretty tall. This is how tall all of these trees were just one month ago. And, and we cut them back and they're looking great. Actually, we have one in the middle here. We're probably going to relocate. It just popped up. But we're trying to create a nice trail here. You can see where we cut all of them back. So there's a cut there that we made one month ago. And then since one month, it's already regrown all of these tips. So all of these tips here are only one month old. Every green that you see here is only one month old. Four weeks. Unbelievable. And just to think that one year ago, this location did not even have any Moringa trees on it. We're at Trail Bell Farm. Where are the piggies? Hey babies, I saw them rolling around. They ran around here and did some circles. Got some pigs, little baby piggies. Oh, come on babies. Come on. Hey baby. Hi. Hi sugars. Yes, you're sweet. You're sweet little babies. Oh yeah, they're cute. They got their little pin and they're keeping the Moringa's company. Wow. So, one year later. <laughs> Unbelievable. Love Florida Moringa. We've got we get these greens on the on the racks to dry and we sell them at the farmers market actually. We have one of our reps at the farmer's market right now in Temple Terrace, just down the street from the farm here. And we also have a website, moringagrowerscoop.com, where you can purchase moringa greens that we grow right here in the Tampa Bay area. Fresh harvested, all organic. Wow, this is one year later. And just one month after we cut all of these trees back. I mean, you can see that's the cut from one month ago, and all of these greens are only one month old. So you can see here is a prime example. This tree, and we cut it. You can see the old cut, and then where it started to regrow, even from that cut. 
and it thickened up and then it split off into here and it split off into here and then we cut it back again and then it split and then same as we cut this up here and then it split so this is going to be a nice strong low bushy tree maybe one day I can step in this tree because it's at a nice enough height to where I could harvest even the tree as it gets a little bit bigger. That's one of my favorite things to do is climb trees. I love climbing trees. Staying in a childlike state with the trees growing in care for these organic moringa trees here in Trail Bell Farm. Travis, the owner of the farm, actually, we've been at the farmer's market together and over the past three years he's watched us grow and grow and increase our volume of locations around the neighborhood and he was interested in helping to feed his, his pigs and feed his chickens and feed his goats that he has on the property. And so he said, hey, would you like to come and plant some moringa trees on the property? And We've made a, only a small amount of harvest so far, but we really plan on being able to feed uh, a large portion of his cattle and, and, and uh, animals in the near future. We're going to work out a deal to where he gets enough Moringa for his animals and we get enough Moringa for our customers. And so we share. And as we come into the second berm, you can see we just crossed the first berm and we're now on the second berm. We planted this second row out uh, over the last six to eight months. Now we started planting this row out um, maybe in February, March. And this is a beautiful hedge that's starting to come alive. Uh, we had to harvest some trees and remove some trees from a property. Actually, this is just a tuber that we laid down on the ground, a Moringa tuber. We had to cut from a tree, remove it, and so it's sprouting all these sticks. And what we'll do is we'll probably keep this one. Uh, we might, you know, maybe take this one back. Uh, you know, maybe keep a couple of these, but, you know, pull some of these off so that way it only has maybe two or three from the base. And so that way it gets a little bit bigger and stronger. But these trees are looking great. These are all relocated to the property from other locations, removals, harvests that we've done. People ask, you know, to move their trees away from their house. And so we'll we'll pull the whole tree out and then we'll we'll bring it here to Trail Bale. And now they're all starting to really come back really nicely like I think this one didn't even have any root system or anything like this is this is great but see oh we always mention about the fork so like well we put this baby in the ground but it already had like these forks on it and now the forks even started to regrow and uh, wonderful hedge that we're building here at the farm we're probably going to build up the soil a little bit more on this side and then we're going to plant another side stretch of Moringa so that way we can walk in between the Moringa trail at Trail Bale. And this is all one year. One year after, this was just a field. We've been building the soil up uh, using Moringa sticks. So what I'll do is uh, harvest Moringa trees around the neighborhood. And then I bring the sticks here. That's actually what this berm was made out of. This berm is made out of other, other locations, Moringa trees. And then we just bring them here and we lay them down to create a, a line of mulch and actually build the soil up. You can see that it's just built up, built up over here. And then we left a drive path, a driving path way. And so you'll see I'll come down like, boom come down and then we come back up into the second berm, really the first berm. And this is just four weeks after cutting all of these trees back to stick. You can see they were all about as tall as that Moringa tree right there. We left one tall so you could see how tall they all were. And uh, it just gets real tall and lanky and the, and the greens are way up there. You can't even reach them. You can't even eat them. 
And so that's what we're doing. We're just uh, we're bringing everything back down low so it regrows. And this is just unbelievable. Beautiful, beautiful greens. We'll probably come in maybe another few weeks from now to make another small harvest and try to trim some of these bushy greens out. Um, because we don't need necessarily every single one of these tips as an example here. This one's growing really big. But this little one next to it is just a little sucker. And it's just going to take energy from this one. We want this one to get big. So what we'll do is we'll come by and we'll pop that one off. Uh, so that way this one stays strong. Uh, and then we'll do that for the whole tree. So that way, you know, you don't just over overly bush it and then some of them are going to die anyways they're going to die back just because the bigger ones this big one is taking all the energy so it's going to be sucking all the energy up and it's going to eventually kill this one anyways this one's going to eventually just dry up and die so might as well pull this off get the greens from it before knowing what the tree is going to do so that way we can use it before it dies we're just learning about trees in general and being an arborist and in nature. Oh, this is beautiful though. They're all splitting real low. So you can see we cut this back several months ago and it split. Wonderful. Just wanted to give you an update. Uh, trail Bell Farm one year later and actually four weeks after the last harvest and everything is looking really beautiful. We're going to have a YouTube video coming out of our Trail Bell Farm entirety probably a week from now. Now that we've filmed this video, this video will be on the YouTube Trail Bell Farm one year later. Thanks so much for watching and keeping in touch and ordering Moringa products. We have several Moringa products in local stores around the neighborhood. You can visit our website to see what stores we're in. MoringaGrowersCoop.com I have a list of <clears throat> locations around town that carry our products. And also where you can find us at the farmer's market where we love love sharing of the fresh greens. Sometimes we have fresh greens at the market. Sometimes we have fresh drumsticks. Always have dry tea and powder and spice and oil. All made from the local Moringa trees. 100% local. Really appreciate you. Miss Chaya. This is the gateway. <laughs> so we'll end it here as we go through the gate. Much love. Prosperous growing. Greetings, greetings, we're back. What a day, hopefully everybody's had a great Saturn day. We are now back at Trail Bell Farm. We were here earlier this morning, took a little video. And then we drove down to Riverview and actually harvested some pretty large trees in Riverview. Not just a harvest, but the owner, Rob, he needed the trees actually removed at Bob's Berries and so they were in a space that he has is now redeveloping into uh, expanding his uh, his nursery and so these moringa trees they needed to be removed and we assured him that that would be not a problem and we're going to relocate them now here at Trail Bale and so you can see we actually removed all six of these one and a half year old trees these are only one and a half years old you can just see how big it is. I mean, these are some pretty massive trees. They grew in Riverview, all organic. You know, we had to pull them out, essentially try to save as much of the roots as we could and also keep them fairly tall. We're going to stick these in the ground, much like we've already done before in the past here at Trail Bell to get these large one and a half year old trees reestablished. Uh, we were able to save my favorite part, the rotunda, this little 
trifecta, actually, like that. We were able to save that. And all of these trees are going to be able to come back. It's a good time of year to relocate. Still some moisture. And we've got all these sticks here, actually, that we're going to also use as mulch. But then we've got the greens that we're going to go ahead and get these cleaned up and brought back to the store. Probably a couple kilos worth of powder there. And so, yeah, we're just excited to get these six into the ground. Here's our, our berm that we've been building up. You can see we started over here and we built the berm all the way up to here where the gates, the Chaya gates, there's a little pathway there where you can walk through. And then the second berm where we've been taking relocated trees and planting them here on this berm here. And so we're gonna go all the way to the trailer. And so these six trees are gonna help fill out this space here. So we're really excited to get these six in the ground, probably have at least 100 Moringa trees here at Trail Bell now. So thanks for watching. Hey, all right, take care. See ya, thanks. And uh, just saying, saying hi to the farm help here. They're just getting off of work. Saturday they closed up shop. Come out to Trail Bell um, during hours. I think sometimes on the weekend, three to five after the farmer's market. You can also visit Trail Bell Farm at the farmer's market. We love Travis and the, the farm family, Trail Bell Farm family. Everything is uh, organic, but they also supply conventional raised chickens. You can see this is their pasture here where the chickens and the goats and even the pigs that are back there right now. They're growing, um, really great farm. And this is just, oh, see the bees? They've got bees out here. Nice bees. Keeps it pollinated. Keep it pollinated. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. And next time we'll show you the progress of these trees now getting in the ground. Just doing a little relocation job for the co-op. Now, unfortunately, we had to pull them out of the ground. We would have loved to have seen them stay, but the owner needed to use the space for something new. It was only a year and a half that he planted these, not knowing what he was actually going to do with the space. And he actually said that he's excited to actually get some Moringa trees growing from seed. He got, he, uh, he got some seeds from these trees. So he's going to plant all the seeds that these trees produced and he's gonna make a whole new row out there at Bob's Berries for us to be able to um, harvest from. So a brand new MGC location, all organic at Bob's Berries, and now we're back here at Trail Bale. Gonna get these six huge, massive trees in the ground. We literally just pulled these right out. Just He's like, I got a Kubota. And I was like, no man, just these are shallow root systems. The tap roots, they stay fairly, you know, they, these were running. These were like runners, like that just kind of like ran. They didn't even like sink down low into the ground. Um, and he said he planted all of these from seed too. So you can tell uh, Moringa is a soft wood, soft wooded uh, tree, very shallow root system. I mean, this thing is just like wrapping up into itself. And so that way, that's why during storms, you know, we cut the trees back. But also I noticed on these trees, there were a lot of bugs, lots of bugs. Yeah, it's summertime, but because they were never cut back last season, they had seed pods on them that were just sitting, rotting on the tree. And that rotting seed pod, you know, the hundreds of rotting seed pods on there, they attracted lots of bugs and beetles. So we like to tell people one of the reasons why we cut the trees back at least once a year is to also help mitigate the pests and the bugs and the dead uh, rotting material that comes off of the Moringa because they grow so fast. It's a soft wooded tree and it, it really just helps um, the surrounding environment if you're trying to grow organically that way you don't have as many bugs. So. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and get these sticks live mulched down on the ground, and we're going to stick these trees up 
vertical actually. Um, I'm gonna go dig some holes. Thanks so much for watching uh, Trail Bell Farm. One year later, it's really starting to develop into a beautiful a Moringa food forest. Take care. Talk soon. Hey, thanks a lot for watching and joining us at Trail Bell Farm one year later. We're back at the MGC. We're getting ready for the farmer's market season. It's September 12th. And we have about two more weeks until farmer's market season really kicks up. We just got our brand new MGC signs. We love the fact that we can share with people about the Moringa tree, what we offer, how we're growing it, where we're growing it in the neighborhood. We have thousands of Moringa trees on over 300 properties now. And each year that we've been growing the trees, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger because of our pruning practices. Please comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. We're always up for suggestions on how to care for the Moringa trees. I'm always learning. New farmer. You can see we have fertilizer, cuttings, Moringa flowers, Moringa seeds, Moringa dried leaves, fresh greens. We're making like 50 different products from the Moringa tree. Nothing's going to waste. It's been really great making and editing the videos over the past year. We're going to be hitting the farmer's market here in the Tampa Bay area. You can find us at Temple Terrace Farmer's Market on Saturdays. You can even find us on, in St. Pete at the Saturday morning market in St. Pete. On Sundays, we're going to be traveling around. Let's see, first Sunday we're at Hyde Park. Second Sunday we're at Seminole Heights. And we're even on Sundays at Sweetwater Organic Farm. We've got a few vendors now that are attending the farmer's market with us. The MGC is growing. If you're interested in joining the MGC as a member, vendor, harvester, farmer, grower, uh, we would love for you to contact me. My number is right here on the, on the link. Please give me a ring. I uh, would love to hear your opinions. And we're installing food forests, making uh, design implementations, and creating beautiful spaces that people can enjoy with the Moringa tree. We have so many things to offer and products that we're making. We're super excited to get all of these out at the farmer's market. We have about two more weeks until the farmer's market season starts. Pretty much summer is coming to an end. It's uh, September 12th today. And uh, we've really enjoyed sharing with you over the past year these videos. Excited to show you other locations as they have also progressed and grown. We've been making videos for all of our other locations as well and we're gonna be getting those out very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe. Join the conversation at the Moringa Growers Co-op Facebook group. That's where we share a lot of our live videos and comments and questions. If you've never grown Moringa before, pick up your Moringa trees and we deliver the trees. Uh, uh, ship, ship, free shipping. You can order uh, MoringaGrowersCoop.com. And uh, yeah, stay safe, prosperous growing, grow your own food little by little, and just keep studying. Peace and love.